A part of the Quartermaster Corps, the U.S. Army Remount Service provided horses to U.S. Army units, evolving from both the Remount Service of the Quartermaster Corps and the General Horse Breeding Program under the control of the Department of Agriculture. The Remount Service began systematically breeding horses for the United States Cavalry in 1918. It remained in operation until 1948, when all animal breeding programs returned to Department of Agriculture control. The Remount Service had its roots in the expansion of the Union Army during the first days of the Civil War. It was determined that the federal government would provide horses for all cavalry and artillery units. This was in direct contrast to the Confederate practice of making each cavalry trooper provide his own horse. Once implemented, the existing system of regimental purchasing boards was quickly overwhelmed and unsuited for dealing with newly raised regiments. In response, the Quartermaster Corps created two different organizations, one for field artillery and another for cavalry, to purchase the large number of horses needed to equip both regular army units and state-raised volunteer units. The Quartermaster General's office oversaw the purchase of draft horses and mules, while the newly created Cavalry Bureau did the same for all cavalry remounts. The new Cavalry Bureau encountered a number of problems from the very beginning. Inadequate staff, poor leadership, and corruption on the part of many horse dealers and buyers combined to halt the flow of remounts to regiments. Command stability was a major issue. During the almost nine months of its existence, the Bureau had no fewer than four commanders. Of those four, only James H. Wilson could be considered successful, and he held the office for less than 60 days. The first commander, General George Stoneman, had led the Cavalry Corps of the Army of the Potomac prior to his posting. General Kenner Garrard, his successor, held the post for less than a month. Thank you for watching. For more educational videos, please subscribe to Wiz Science on YouTube or visit wizscience.com.